What is up, RC enthusiasts? Check it out. The Legendary Legend, sent to me by Legendary themselves. Thank you guys at Legendary for sending me this for review. And also thank you to all my subscribers, because if it wasn't for you guys, they wouldn't be sending me any of these things to review. And hopefully you guys trust me when I tell you guys what I think about these things. So let's get to it. Here's everything included in this ready to run. You have your transmitter. You get two batteries included, 1600 mAh 2S LiPos. You get one charging brick, weirdly, because they include two USB chargers. So they should have gave us two of those too, but I guess it still works. Somebody has some of those at home. And you get a parts bag filled with your hex wrench for your tires, some spare hexes for your wheels, and some spare pins for your hexes too, because those fling out sometimes when these get lost. Spare wheel nuts, spare bottom caps for your shocks, and spare body pins. So that's a lot of spares, more spares than my axial rift. And just when you think they couldn't give you enough stuff, they throw this in so you can safely charge your lipos. So all in all, what I think about this thing right here, guys, it is really not a 10 scale to me. It's a little bit smaller than 10 scale, and it's still a good size for a lot of fun, and it could tackle a lot of terrain because of its ground clearance. Oh, let's go ahead and peel off the satisfying film. Oh yeah. There you go. All right, so they include this so we could join those two batteries together in parallel and not series because series would make those batteries for us. Now in parallel would just race the MAH and leave it at 2S. So now we're gonna go up to 3200 MAH of power, which means longer run time. So go ahead and install this sucker. That's what it looks like all connected. Now we're gonna shove both those batteries in this tray. There you go, now that I have both batteries in there, we can close her up. There we go. Let's go run this guy. Oh yeah, I also didn't mention those lights came in a bag as well. You have to install the two front ones right there to just press fit back here and run that wire all the way to here and that plugs in right there and the other two LEDs back here. So that's pretty cool guys. All right, when you turn on the controller and then you turn on the rig, the controller will turn blue right here once it's binded and connected to the rig. So let's go ahead and let's take this out for a speed run. All right, I got this set to zero. Let's see what it can do. That's it? That's all we get? Doesn't look too fast, does it? It's really smooth though. Let's see what we got with that. 17 miles an hour. That's all this truck has got. So, you know, pretty slow, but a lot of torque. So let's take this thing on the dirt. Oh yeah, I didn't mention there's a high and low speed right here for the speed mode. It was on high the whole time and then low it's like half the speed. So I would assume half of 17 miles an hour for that. Let's go ahead and do a range check. pretty smooth guys I don't know if I mentioned uh, this thing actually has oil filled shocks yeah that's pretty far I would not drive it this far I'm not even holding the transmitter up I'm holding it down right here and I can barely see it now I don't know if you guys can see it so let's turn it around let's get her back here it's a smooth runner See if we could do some jumps with it. Yeah, lands flat, takes off strip leveled. That's pretty good. It's really quiet, amazingly, guys. Now, this is a twin motor setup. I'll show you a picture of it right here. All the drivetrain is full metal on this guy. Woo! So, that's pretty good. You know, it's not too bad. This is like a what some would like to call it more toy grade ish, but. If you ask me, oil-filled shocks, metal drivetrain, it's pretty hobby grade. But yeah, look at the lights. The lights are really bright. 
probably be really good at night. The oil filled shocks, you know, they're working all right. Maybe need a little thicker oil in there. But it tackles some stuff. Man, it jumps flat. I just want you guys to hear how quiet this thing is. Look at that. Wow, amazingly handles really great. Well, all right guys, at 17 miles an hour, it's not the fastest but sure as hell may be the most durable for this speed because if you keep it at this speed, I don't see this thing really breaking. I mean, the truck is very flexible. Woo, between my legs. <laughs> my opinion of this truck so far, I mean, very worth it, guys. Check that out. You get dual shocks in the rear. That's our oil filled, by the way. Single shock in the front. You have some metal parts right here, some braces to help you. See the metal up there, metal back here, and of course the nice LED bright lights in the front and in the rear. So I always like reporting everything that happens and on this run, on my first run, I was able to get one shock to come completely off, but it just unscrewed from the top cap. So the top cap is still there. Yeah, so there's the top cap right there. And there it is, just gonna screw it back in. And I gotta add more oil, but now I can show you guys that, yep, these things are actually oil filled. Well, if you guys wanna see this upgraded, just go ahead and hit that like button. If I get a thousand likes, I will convert this to brushless. So, alright, guys, thanks for watching as usual. I always appreciate it. I'm about to hit that 10,000 mark, which is really awesome. It's a really big goal for me, and I will be announcing something for that 10th K. So, check it out, subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification so you get notified of what I'm about to announce when I hit that 10K. Well, all right, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe out there. Go have fun and run that RC.